will not allow one county to become a dump site. The State Highway Patrol began moving in on the marchers as they approached the entrance to the state landfill. The signs and chants of the protesters made clear their opposition to having the toxic chemical buried in their county. I don't want this stuff thrown in my water. We're marching because we do not want this to affect our future. If you do not cease this unlawful act, you will be arrested. The leaders of the protest said they would not move, and they were the first arrested. As they were being escorted away, the crowd moved in on the entrance. Many of the marchers then sat in the road, and the patrol began arresting them and placing them on a jail bus. State officials said they had no choice but to make the arrests if they were going to move the people out of the way and get the trucks in here. One protester jumped in front of the first truck and was quickly hustled away. In all, 10 trucks arrived for the first dumping. As they unloaded the PCB soil in the landfill, state and federal officials defended the decision to stop protesters and to store PCB here. We were hoping that we were going to have, of course, <coughs> just the protest, but uh, you witnessed the fact that there was an, an attempt to obstruct, which we simply could not. Uh, allow to continue. We feel very confident that we built a facility that uh, is going to work uh, the way in which it was intended and uh, we intend to just carry this project out to its completion. And State officials say they're determined to continue the operation until they get the job done. Brenda Summers, WBTV News, Warren County.